Good evening, and welcome to our evening prayer this evening. They say that pride comes before a fall. Having arrived a little late, it's been a busy day, I managed nonetheless to get the sanctuary um, put back from the funeral that we had celebrated this morning with its color of purple into the gold for this celebration of the chair of St. Peter. And I was stood in the sacristy thinking uh, how quickly, how effectively I would managed that. And I suddenly realized that the music had stopped and that I was late. So I apologize. For Peter, of course, uh, he too had the experience, except for him, as it were, the failure almost comes first. That denial of Christ, which is a lesson he learns. He is then invited three times to affirm his love of the Lord. And it's that strength which enabled him to go on, uh, to minister to his brothers and sisters, to encourage them. The role that has continued to be exercised from that chair of Peter ever since. This evening, during this evening prayer, it's appropriate that we pray for Pope Francis. We pray that he may find that strength to continue uh, to bring us, uh, his brothers and sisters, to the Lord, to continue uh, his ministry, to focus uh, the whole work and life of the church on that proclamation of Christ's presence to the world. So begin this Mass, uh, begin this Mass, begin this evening prayer. We recognize that that was the great gift and strength of Mary, who accepted her vocation, who lived it out with extraordinary strength. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> o God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now let the heavens with joy resound, and earth the chant re-echo round. Nor heaven nor earth too high can raise the great apostles' glorious praise. Theirs was the steadfast faith of saints, the unconquered hope that never faints, the perfect love of Christ to know, that lays the praise of this world low. In them the Father's glory shone, in them the Spirit's will was done. The Son's glad praise to them is given, with joy resound the courts of heaven. To thee, Redeemer, now we cry, that with this glorious band on high, through endless ages, by thy grace, thy servants also may have place. Peter, do you love me? You know that I love you, Lord. Feed my sheep. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise, 
I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his peoples. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Peter, do you love me? You know that I love you, Lord. Feed my sheep. While Peter was held in prison, the church prayed unceasingly to God for him. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing, They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaths. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. While Peter was held in prison, the church prayed unceasingly to God for him. You are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. Blessed be the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who in his great mercy has given us a new birth as his sons by raising Jesus Christ from the dead so that we have a sure hope and the promise of an inheritance that can (laughs) never be spoilt or soiled and never fade away because it has been kept for you in the heavens. Through your faith, God's power will guard you until the salvation which has been prepared is revealed at the end of time. Tell of the glory of the Lord, announce it among the nations. Tell of the glory of the Lord, announce it among the nations. Speak of his wonderful deeds to all the people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are the shepherd of the flock, the prince of the apostles. To you were given the keys of the kingdom of heaven. (coughs) My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. 
His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are the shepherd of the flock, the prince of the apostles. To you were given the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Since we are part of a building that has the apostles for its foundation, let us pray to the Father for his holy people. Lord, remember your church. Father, when your son rose from the dead, you showed him first to the apostles. Let us make him known near and far. You sent your son into the world to proclaim the good news to the poor. Grant that we may bring his gospel into the darkness of people's lives. You sent your Son to plant in our hearts the seed of imperishable life. May we labour to sow his word and reap a harvest of joy. You sent your Son to reconcile the world with yourself by the shedding of his blood. Let us become his fellow workers in restoring all to your friendship. You place your son at your own right hand in heaven. Receive the dead into the happiness of your kingdom. Continue this night to pray for the success of the Dars of Submission, particularly as this is the evening on which the materials will be published for the first time. We pray for Connor Rowe, who celebrates his 19th birthday today. Funeral here earlier reminds us to pray again in thanksgiving uh, for the stewards who make it possible for people to gather, for the IT team who made it possible for family and friends to be here too. We pray for Peter, who asks that we join him in prayer, and that's a difficult situation. Elizabeth asks that we might pray for Sarah and family, who are distressed by ongoing medical problems and work issues. We pray for the success uh, of Felicity in her continuing study and formation. We pray for Patsy Edmonds' intentions. We pray for the work of CAFOD in this week of the Family Fast Day and of the Walking Challenge. We pray for all those, uh, our brothers and sisters, in need of our support. We pray for Stephanie Webster, who is admitted into the Royal Surrey Hospital with a heart attack. We pray for Father Brian, also in hospital. Pray that he may know that the Lord is with him We pray for the success of Isabella's operation uh, on Wednesday. Pray for all those in hospital, those suffering with COVID. And we continue to pray for Concepcia, Teresa, Paul, Fatma, Bernard, and Jean Bous. We pray for Maura Crawshaw, 
whose funeral we celebrated this morning, for Frank, her husband, and for her family. Debbie asks that we might pray for the soul of Madeleine Waterman. We pray for the repose of the soul of Pearlene Kirk and Helen Foley, who died recently and whose funeral will be tomorrow. And we continue to pray for Mary, for Chiara, for Maura, for Alan, for Salvatore, for Jack, for Timothy, for Father Ray, for Malcolm, and for Father Martin Jacobus. We pray for all those who've been bereaved, particularly remembering parents who've lost a child. And we pray for all those to whom we've promised our prayerful intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty God, as you built your church on the rock of Peter's faith, grant with such a firm foundation we may hold fast in every storm. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I mentioned a reminder this evening at 8pm, the diocesan material for our reflection this coming week will be published on the diocesan website, abdiocese.org. Also, we, we wanted to mark out the days of these weeks during Lent with a particular devotion of focus each day. So this evening, Mondays at 7 p.m., uh, there will be rosary prayed from here, and therefore we won't have a decade of the rosary now. For those who wish to continue in the Zoom group, of course, you're, you're very welcome to do so. It won't be switched off. It's still there uh, for you. So if you wish to gather in that group and pray, uh, please do. We we'll invite others to come and to join here, perhaps those who wanted to be more private uh, in their rosary, that you might come and be uh, in that time of prayer as we reflect on the extraordinary uh, gifts that we receive from the Lord. And we pray together finally, uh, thanking uh, God for the great gift we have uh, in the example of Mary. I think the anthem from during uh, Lent is meant to be different. I apologise, this is the only tune that I can half get my tongue round. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Carmanus, Exules Filii Ebe, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et flentes, 
in hac laquimarum vale. Earego advocata nostra illos tuos misericordes loculos et nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fruntum ventris tui nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O Clemens, O Pia, O Uducis Virgo Maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.